What's going on everyone? Moose here, Air Guns Michigan. And I have the Cattlemen's out here today. I have the T1 and the M1 out here. The T1 is in 22 cal, the M1 is in 25 cal, and uh, we're shooting out to 50 yards. And uh, you know, I'm gonna say this. I've shot both the guns so far, and uh, the T1's not doing too bad. It's really not doing too bad. It's, uh, it's doing better than I anticipated that it would. And uh, we're gonna shoot another group, and then we're gonna try to walk down and uh, see what we got here. So I shot at my center diamond down there already, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and load up another magazine real quick. And uh, we're gonna shoot, uh, I think the upper, upper left diamond. And uh, from there, we're gonna walk down. We're gonna take a look at what kind of groups we're getting. I am shooting FX uh, Diabolo 18.1 grain pellets. It seems to be the pellet that this gun um, enjoys the most. Now, I have done a little bit of work to this gun. Um, I replaced the hammer spring, um, and uh, I've done extensive work on the barrel as well, uh, just polishing it and getting it nice and clean. But uh, surprisingly, I'm gonna eat my words, it's not doing too bad. Certainly hunting quality. So let's go ahead and go with that upper left target. We're going to shoot a full mag through it and see what we get. Now I am shooting through a red dot with a three times half wire. So I don't have the clearest of pictures, but it's doing better than it has in the past and uh we'll show you guys what we're getting here in a second and then we'll shoot the m1 i'll show you what we're getting with that So, we're going to wait for these other guys to get done uh, with their shooting. I'm going to run out to the car and grab another target uh, to set up. And uh, while we're waiting, I'm probably going to shoot a couple more groups. But uh, this is the Cattleman T1. Um, and like I said, this has the uh, Tacticam, or Tacticon, sorry, not Tacticam, Tacticon. Um, red green dot with the three time multiplier um, i have swapped out the hammer spring on this gun and like i said clean the living heck out of the barrel now one thing i do want to say is that in the past i have always ran a moderator on these guns and i'm not i'm not saying that my moderators are bad but moderators can sometimes affect pellet travel so today I decided to bring them out without moderators. Um, I'm out at the range, so I don't need to worry as much about being backyard friendly. And uh, honestly, I think it helped this T1 uh, to not run a moderator. So with that being said, I'm Moose. We'll be right back and we'll show you this target down here. All right, so here we have it, guys. We've got our 50 yard target with our cattleman. T1 22 cal and uh, we're gonna walk down here and I'm gonna show you guys the groups that I got with this red dot now I'm gonna tell you after shooting this with the red dot and only three power at 50 yards I've decided that the T1 is going to be scoped up I'm gonna put a scope on it and I'm gonna bring it back out and I'm gonna see just how much better this thing can shoot um 
I've done enough work to it <laughs> that uh, it appears to be coming together a little bit better. Um, these groups are still not great groups. Um, but the red dot is easy still to see um, where I'm at. So let me show you guys what I got here. So here's a group, 50 yards with a red dot. This one, they were coming off the side of the paper. This is a group uh, with one flyer down here. And then this is a group. So, I mean, is it a good group? No, it's not a good group. But I am shooting a three time magnification red dot. So I want to see what it'll do with the, um, with the scope on it. And uh, we'll go from there. So this is gonna wrap up the T1. We're gonna reset the target. I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna grab the M1 that does have a scope on it. And uh, we're gonna shoot some groups. So I'll let this pattern uh, speak for itself. You guys can decide if you think that these guns are uh, right for you. And uh, maybe they are, maybe they're not. But either way, we'll be back with the M1. All right, and we're back. We've got the Cattleman M1 sitting over here on the bag. We're gonna go ahead and launch down two magazines. I'm gonna aim for, I'm gonna launch all of the magazines at the center um, diamond, uh, just to give you guys an idea of what 18 round or 18 shot groups look like out of this gun. Um, got a fresh target. And, uh, let's get to work. See if this bag's gonna be low enough. Yeah, let's turn it. Alright. And these are the FX uh, 25.4 grams. Um, believe it or not, these are the best pilots I found to shoot out this gun. wind oh you guys this is terrible I have not changed my point of aim guys I don't know what's going on with this gun. But seriously, my Red Rider could do a better shot job. I think that was the last round. Alright, mag number two. I'm aiming for the top of the center diamond. absolutely horrendous we're gonna walk down there i'm gonna show you what this m1 just did guys it pains me it really does and when you guys see this um 
I don't know. Like I said, maybe I just got some bad guns. I don't know. But uh, we're going to wait for these guys and uh, see if we can't uh, go down and retrieve our target. We'll walk down there and talk about it. And uh, we'll be right back. Give Frank a little bit of uh... All right, guys. Here we are. We're walking down. We're going to take a look at this shotgun pattern from the M1. And, um, man, seriously. point of aim was the top of the center diamond and uh, I'll let you guys decide that was my point of aim right there you tell me you know I mean I, listen like I said it's nothing against cattlemen guns but i've had five of these this is generally what i get and uh and i don't know why um like i said i don't know if i just got some bad cattlemen's um but honestly i would i would not recommend buying one um it's just me guys i'm, I'm just keeping it real i'm trying to be honest and and like I said, it pains me, you know, Victoria is, is, the, is such a wonderful person. And, uh, and I really wanted these guns to, to be better shooters. And um, I really wanted, um, you know, to be able to bring you guys um, at least some three or four inch groups at 50 yards. But I mean, this is, this is atrocious. Um, I wouldn't trust that gun uh, to shoot anything. Um, and certainly not four to five hundred dollars, um, you know, for that. Um, you know, I, I know maybe some of you guys are getting better groups out of yours, um, but you know, I figured I, have five, I had five of them. Um, so I had, uh, an equal opportunity to, um, you know, bring, um, at least a, a good, um, a good review on maybe one of them. Um, but, uh, honestly, uh, the T1 with all the work that I did to it is probably the best, the best shooter that I've got and uh, you saw the groups on that but this is this is no bueno this is no bueno and uh you know it is what it is and you know and that's that's why i do this and this is this is by far the worst shooting guns that uh that i own um even even with my co2 guns or my um pumpers or uh, my brake barrels. Um, these are unfortunately the worst guns that I've ever shot. And, uh, and I hope that their quality control will pick up. I hope that somebody will uh, start shooting these guns at the factory at say 25 yards, maybe 50 yards, and uh, really get some, uh, some better quality control before you send out guns like this to customers. Um, now granted, in all fairness, I didn't pay for any of these guns, so I'm not out the money. But if I was a paying customer and I spent spent four to five hundred dollars on that gun, I would be pissed, and I'm sure you guys would be too. Um, so you know, with that being said, you know, Victoria, I apologize. I'm just being honest, and uh, you know, hopefully in the future. You know, if you guys, you know, find a, um, some kind of happy medium and, and maybe your guns get more accurate or whatnot, um, you know, I'd love the opportunity to, uh, to be able to retract these and say, hey, you know, Cattleman Guns listened and they went ahead and um, did some better quality control. And uh, now I've got a real shooter, um, you know, but until then i gotta be honest guys and right now my honesty is is that they are not worth the money 
So, till next time, I'm Moose. This is Air Guns of Michigan. Be good to each other. God bless. Take care.